Hi, this is Jake Romali with Neurology Reviews. Uh, we're at the 72nd Annual Meeting of the American Epilepsy Society. With me is Dr. Emma Voinescu. Dr. Voinescu is an instructor in neurology at Harvard Medical School and an attending neurologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Dr. Voinescu is presenting a study about variations in seizure frequency during pregnancy by epilepsy type. Would you tell us what we have known about seizure frequency in pregnancy and what gaps you wanted to address with your study? Sure, so I think there's pretty clear evidence that the seizure frequency preconception in the first, in the last nine months, up to a year preconception, it's a good predictor for the seizure frequency during pregnancy. Um, we also know that Catamenial epilepsy patients with a catamenial uh, pattern of their seizures tend to do better during pregnancy. Um, but none of these studies addressed the seizure onset zone. We don't know if different epilepsy types are doing better or worse during pregnancy. And I guess that's not entirely fair to say because there are hints that focal epilepsies are doing worse than generalized epilepsies. When we started this study, it started with honestly an observation clinically that women with focal epilepsy and in particular frontal lobe epilepsy tend to be doing worse. Mm -hmm. And at our institution, Dr. Penal and I are managing patients with epilepsy who are um, at a point where they are planning to expand their family and we are monitoring uh, these women during pregnancy. Uh, and Dr. Penal has, long before I joined Brigham, created a database uh, for us to accurately keep track um, of all uh, the information we need to adequately manage them, such as um, what medications they're on, what are the medication doses, the blood uh, serum concentrations, um, and how the adjustments, the therapeutic dose monitoring is done during pregnancy based on the fluctuations in the blood concentrations, but also on the seizures that are occurring during pregnancy. So we had this information tracked prospectively, um, and we also have a lot of information uh, in our electronic medical records in the clinical notes. So I just went ahead and um, I looked into whether our clinical observation that focal and especially frontal lobe epilepsy patients are doing worse during pregnancy. Um, and that holds true uh, to a degree that I didn't expect. <laughs> Since uh, 2013 until 2018, I updated a little bit my numbers since we submitted the abstract. Um, there's been 114 pregnancies that um, we had complete uh, information on. 99 women uh, with epilepsy, some had um, two or three pregnancies. Uh, 37 were women with generalized epilepsy and the rest women with uh, focal epilepsy. And within those, 15 were women with frontal lobe epilepsy. Women with generalized epilepsy tend to be doing better uh, during pregnancy compared to women with um, focal epilepsy and the percentages are um, 22% women, uh, 22 of women with uh, focal epilepsies had a worsening in their seizure frequency compared to only about 5% of women with generalized epilepsy. Um, and interestingly within uh, the focal epilepsy group, women with frontal lobe epilepsies had a 53% uh, of them had increase in seizure frequency, uh, which was a statistically significant difference, uh, an eightfold increase in the risk of seizure worsening during pregnancy. Um, we did look into the clinical characteristics uh, of these patients because some patients have refractory epilepsy and it's well known that uh, frontal lobe epilepsies tend to be harder to control. And indeed we noticed that a larger percentage of women with frontal lobe epilepsy were on polytherapy. So another aspect that we, uh, we checked is whether polytherapy um, is a predictor for seizure worsening during pregnancy. And indeed it is, and we found that significantly it increases the risk for seizure worsening. 
But when controlling for polytherapy, women with focal and in particular women with frontal lobe epilepsies still had a significantly higher risk of seizure worsening during pregnancy regardless of that. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, um, another factor to consider is whether adequate dose adjustments were made during pregnancy because our previous work has shown that if the serum concentration of anti-epileptic medications drops below 65% um, of the preconception uh, value, then there is an increased risk for seizure worsening during pregnancy. So we wanted to make sure that um, these patients were adequately managed uh, during pregnancy and we are doing our best <laughs> to do so when we are monitoring these women, but because of the high uh, interpatient variability, there is a fluctuation in this ratio between um, the concentration of the medication during pregnancy versus uh, baseline preconception level, which we called ratio to target concentration, the preconception level being our target that we aim um, to, to keep the patient at during pregnancy. And interestingly enough, actually, frontal lobe epilepsy patients had a higher um, ratio to target concentration compared to other um, patients who had worsening of their seizures during pregnancy. So that, that shows our effort to really ramp up um, their therapy to control the seizures they're having uh, during pregnancy. And a lot of these women actually started on being on monotherapy and ended up being on polytherapy at the end of, of the pregnancy. Um, a few of them were on no medication prior to pregnancy and ended up on medication at the end of pregnancy. So I think it's an important information um, for providers out there to know that frontal lobe epilepsy patients need to be more carefully monitored during pregnancy um, and sometimes just um, those adjustments to compensate for pregnancy clearance changes is not sufficient and the therapy needs to be escalated further. Um, one thing that I didn't mention is that we also looked at whether there is uh, a time during uh, a, a certain gestational age that's um, triggering this seizure worsening. We have noticed that the majority of patients with seizure worsening um, have a higher risk for seizure in starting around 20 weeks of gestation age, so in their second trimester, and then it seems to stay uh, increased into the third trimester. From a management perspective, as I mentioned earlier, I think these women need to be monitored more carefully. They need to be advised uh, early in pregnancy that there is an increased seizure worsening um, with their epilepsy type and they need to be more diligent about taking their medications on time and reporting to uh, their provider any uh, increase in or change in their uh, seizure pattern. Um, normally, uh, we monitor our patients with monthly levels and those adjustments. Uh, there are no guidelines uh, in how to do therapeutic dose monitoring and in part is because there, we don't have adequate information on clearance changes uh, that are triggered for pregnancy for different medications. There's uh, more and more information but not adequate for all the drugs that we are using and therefore monthly levels and those adjustments are necessary and perhaps in women with frontal lobe epilepsy especially in the second trimester that needs to be scaled up and done more frequently depending on their clinical status. Thank you.